Welcome to the cosmic journey where today we unravel one of the universe's most beautiful mysteries, auroras. These celestial symphonies of light aren't just a feast for the eyes, they're a testament to the fascinating dance between our planet and its cosmic neighborhood. But what causes these ethereal displays of color that have captivated human hearts for centuries? Are they just an atmospheric phenomenon or is there something more to this cosmic spectacle? The truth as you'll soon discover, is far more intriguing and it takes us on a journey millions of miles away from our home planet. A journey to the very heart of our solar system, to the fiery furnace that is our sun. You see, the secret behind the auroras lies not within the confines of our planet, but in the dynamic and powerful solar wind that our sun constantly emits. The answer lies, surprisingly, millions of miles away from Earth with our very own sun. The Sun, our star, is constantly emitting a stream of charged particles known as the solar wind. Now, when you think of wind, you might picture a cool breeze on a summer's day or perhaps a blustery winter gale. But the solar wind is a completely different beast. Born from the intense heat and activity of the Sun's outer layer or corona, these particles are flung out into space in all directions. They zip through the vacuum, unimpeded by friction or air resistance and they're not dawdling along either. Imagine, if you will, a particle starting its journey from the sun. Picture it racing away at speeds of up to a staggering one million miles per hour. That's fast enough to get from New York to Los Angeles in just a couple of seconds. Now, if we could ride along with that particle, we'd notice something interesting. The further away from the sun we get, the less dense our fellow particles become. But even as we travel millions of miles into the depths of space, we'd still be surrounded by this solar wind. So the next time you're enjoying a sunny day, remember that light isn't the only thing the sun is sending our way. This isn't just a gentle breeze, but a powerful force that travels through space at about one million miles per hour. As these charged particles approach Earth, they encounter something truly powerful, our planet's magnetic field. This invisible force field, if you will, has a vital role in our survival. Now, you might be wondering, what is a magnetic field and why does Earth have one? Well, the Earth's magnetic field is generated deep within our planet in its outer core. Here, molten iron and nickel swirl around, creating electric currents, which in turn generate a magnetic field. It's a dynamic and powerful system that extends thousands of miles into space. This magnetic field is more than just a feature of our planet. It's a cosmic shield. It protects us from the relentless onslaught of the solar wind that's constantly bombarding our planet. Without it, these charged particles would strip away our atmosphere, making life as we know it impossible. The Earth's magnetic field is shaped like a giant donut, or more scientifically, a toroid. The field is strongest at the poles, where it's also most vertical. This is why compasses point north, and it's also why most of the solar wind particles that do make it through our protective shield end up around the polar regions. So, the next time you think about the Earth, remember we're not just living on a rock floating in space. We're living on a rock with a massive invisible force field that's constantly protecting us from the harshness of space. It's our own cosmic shield protecting us from these solar particles. But not all these particles are deflected. Some get trapped and are pulled toward the Earth's poles. This is where the real show begins. These particles, traveling at incredible speeds, are funneled down towards the Earth's polar regions, where the magnetic field lines converge. As they descend, they begin to interact with particles in our Earth's atmosphere, mostly oxygen and nitrogen molecules. This interaction is a bit like a cosmic game of billiards, with the solar particles colliding with the atmospheric gases. But this isn't your ordinary game of pool. It's happening at a subatomic level and the result is truly magical. When the solar wind particles hit the atmospheric gases, they transfer their energy to these molecules. This energy excites the molecules, causing them to light up. Imagine it like a neon sign where electricity causes the gas in the tubes to glow. The same principle is at work here, but on a much grander scale. The color of the aurora depends on which gas is being excited by the solar particles and how high up in the atmosphere the excitement is happening. Collisions with oxygen produce red and green lights, while interactions with nitrogen create blue and purplish red hues. These collisions release energy, creating a dazzling display of lights that we call the aurora borealis in the north, 
and the Aurora Australis in the south. So the next time you're lucky enough to witness this spectacle, remember you're watching a cosmic dance between Earth and the Sun. On Mars, the solar wind is stripping away its atmosphere, impacting the possibility of sustaining future colonies. These charged particles from the Sun, which we've been discussing, are not just a spectacle for us on Earth, they're a universal phenomenon, creating a ripple effect across our solar system. Consider Mars, our neighboring planet. Unlike Earth, Mars has a weak magnetic field, leaving it more exposed to the solar wind. Over billions of years, this constant bombardment has gradually stripped away its atmosphere, making it less hospitable for future human exploration and colonization. But the solar wind doesn't interact with each planet in the same way. Take Venus, for instance. Despite having no magnetic field at all, it endures the solar wind differently. Its thick atmosphere acts as a protective shield demonstrating just how unique our own planet really is in the grand cosmic dance. On Venus, the solar wind interacts differently due to the lack of a magnetic field showcasing how unique Earth really is. So, the next time you witness an aurora, remember it's a cosmic ballet. Dance to the tune of our sun's solar wind and Earth's magnetic embrace. This celestial spectacle is not just about pretty lights, but a testament to the sun's far-reaching influence and Earth's protective shield. From the sun's relentless solar wind, to Earth's magnetic field, to the breathtaking auroras at the poles, it's a dance of cosmic forces. A dance that serves as a spectacular reminder of our connection to the universe. If you're fascinated by how our planet dances with the cosmos, hit that subscribe button. Share this video with your friends and immerse yourself in the cosmic ballet. The universe has many more secrets to reveal, so stay tuned for more cosmic journeys.